hello guys welcome to Ferdinand tutorial in this video i'll be teaching you how to write your own undergraduate research proposal you don't need any help from any external source all you need is just this video so watch to the end don't be distracted and you understand all about writing a research proposal now when we're talking about research proposal what are we actually talking about now, a research proposal is a document that you prepare you know you submit to your supervisor either internal or external to show them okay this is you know the topic you've been given this is what you are expected to do you've not carried out your uh, experiment yet but more like you know a holistic overview of what your experiment is going to be all about and the expected result and outcome so what is the end so that you can know how to write your own and submit it exceptionally to your supervisor now when we're talking about research proposal the first thing you should do is you must learn how to write your title page now in this title page we have what we call your project title now in your project title a project title simply means your topic right let's take for instance the topic we are talking about here might be kinetic study kinetic study of rodanis <clears throat> of rodanis rodanis enzyme right in the liver in the liver of wistarat in the liver of wistarat under cyanide stress i'm just assuming a topic under cyanide cyanide stress now this is the project title. the next thing that should be in your title page is your name you should have your name and you should have your supervisor's name and you should also have your institution you should also have your math number right i don't know if you're getting what i'm saying and the last you should have your dates now this is for title page that's the first page now the second thing here is introduction and background now when we're talking about introduction and background introduction and background simply means you're trying to tell us about your topic holistically what is your topic all about but the next thing after you've explained what your topic is all about the next thing you will do under this introduction and back on uh, background is you try as much as possible to explain important parameters let's take for instance you're using this topic now under introduction and background when you've told us what the particular topic is all about you try as much as possible to explain the meaning of root and east enzyme you try as much as possible to explain you know what is cyanide stress those are these words that you try as much as possible to explain now the next thing you will do is you give us a clear statement of research problem still on this number two which is introduction and background you give us your what a clear research problem or clear statement of research problem now for instance let's use this topic to assume a statement of problem or a search statement problem what we are going to do here for me to write a statement uh, research problem i will say although you know uh, rodan is is useful or plays a crucial role in cni detoxification i'm using this topic i'm trying to create you know get a research problem from this topic like what is it that my topic is trying to solve now i would say although rudanese plays a crucial role in cni detoxification now the kinetic parameters under environmental cni stress in nigeria we start at is still unknown so these kinetic parameters will expose us to you know the bioremediation strategies are you getting what i'm saying so my study is more like trying to expose us to the word bioremediation what strategies i don't know if you're getting what i'm saying so that is what a clear, clear statement of what of research problem so what is it that your study the problem that your study is trying to do what to solve so we're done here now the next thing here is aim and objective now when we're talking about aim and objective in your research proposal your aim is more like a one-line sentence of what you want to achieve if you've been following my video on you know research research i've been uploading here you understand that in every topic for you to find your aim all you need to add is to determine if you add to determine that is your aim i can say to determine the kinetic study of rodanes in the liver of wistarat under cyanide stress that is my aim are you getting what i'm saying now we're talking about objectives objective is a bit different objective is not the aim but objective are those steps that you follow through to achieve this particular aim so aim and objective aim is not the same thing as objective aim is to determine this thing objective is the steps you will follow how do you want to make one million naira before 20. the steps you follow to make that one million naira before 20 is your what objective are you getting what i'm saying so for instance i can say objective is to determine the km and v max of enzyme activity that's road that is. I don't know if you are getting what I'm saying. To first of all, you know, identify the rat 
and then look at the cyanide concentration in the liver of that we start at. Those are the steps I will follow through to do what? To determine this particular stuff here. Good. Now, your objective should usually be three to five objectives. Don't go beyond as an undergrad. It should usually be what? From three to five objectives. Okay. Now, literature review. Now, literature review, since it's a research proposal, it's not your thesis. It's a research proposal because proposal, you just have to print it and then submit or even defend. For myself, now I'm going to be defending my research proposal next semester. Right? <laughs> so, your literature review should be brief. Now, this is a place where you look at, you know, recent studies similar to that your topic. You, re you study what has been done and then you look at what, like, the gap that your study needs to fill. That is what has not been done yet that your study is trying to fill in. That's literature review. And also let your references be recent references. Highest five to ten years recent. Are we there now? Recent references. Now, that's literature review. Now, if you also don't know how to, you know, review a literature, there is a video that will be linked in the description. Watch that video. It's about literature review. It will explain to you everything you need to know about literature review. Now, if you're watching this video till this time, if you're still here till this time, please click that like button so that YouTube can recommend this video to every other young undergrad and click that subscribe button so that the community will keep on growing, growing, growing. Okay, now we're done here. Let's look at methodology. Now, methodology, this is more like the heart of your proposal. Because why? one of the reasons why you are being asked to submit a proposal is so that other people can replicate your work. So you must make sure that the methodology is accurate. Now, the first thing that should be in your methodology is what we call the research design. Now, the research design is more like, you show us, is your experiment, is your work going to be experimental? Is it going to be descriptive, right, etc.? You must explain it in your research design. Also, we have samples and materials samples and material what and what are you going to be using to achieve this particular result what are the samples and materials that you're going to be using also the next thing is what experimental work experimental work experimental work is the work you are doing in the lab and the last one is what data analysis what are you going to be using to analyze your data all these things must be in your what your research methodology are we together now when we are done here you look at as expected result expected result is more like okay at the end of the day this my topic is going to be exposing me to this particular result this is what i'm expected to get at the end of the day i don't know if you're getting what i'm saying all right now we'll come here significance of the study now significance of the study significance of the study is more like what is the usefulness of this study how does it help society significance of the study is not more like publication that's not why you are doing this study, so that I can have publication and then apply for PhD. No. Significance of the study is how does this study help society? How does it help the environment? How does it help community? How does it help sciences? These are the what the significance of the study. So you must make sure that your study is relevant to the society and science at large. All right. Now, references, of course, you must follow a specific, you know, order of references. You don't use upper here and then use another you know references start here no you must follow what a specific order of referencing and then make sure that you know your reference is correctly aligned now if you want me to teach you how to you know arrange your references let me know in the comment section i will do that video and then i will upload thank you for watching i will see you again in my next video bye for now share this video with a friend don't forget that